Okay, guys, just got this low profile light, good for 50,000 hours. Me and my wife did the math on that. That's a freaking long time. So, got go stick it up here and uh, on the, the roof here in the area that we haven't figured out what to do with. It's the, the hole in the house. We're thinking maybe a bar here, but we need lightage. So, these Home Depot lights. They come in a two pack, they're about $50. And not a bad light. Put, just put one up in the laundry room and illumination. So y'all, please stay tuned. Okay, as I said, I stuck one up in the laundry room and really adds a lot of light to this area. So, excuse the mess, it's my house, but uh, really adds a lot of light. My wife is gonna go ahead and patch the pole, the holes and color match up there. So guys, I'm gonna install this right there. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Always make sure the power is disconnected. You may need a multimeter if you are not sure. Let me go get that multimeter real quick. Hey guys, got a multimeter. First thing we're going to do is take the screw head out of this, put the Phillips head. That's the longest screw in history. Take the plate off, throw it somewhere. <coughs> ah, somewhere it's not going to make that much noise. And set your grill down somewhere. You got too much stuff up here, so set my grill on the floor. Okay, take the multimeter, turn it on to 110, pull these out. You got your white one, your black one, your neutral, your common, and your ground. Take the ends off, the protective coverings. This way you can make sparkage. Sparkage is so much fun. And now take your multimeter test handset and touch the wires. Oh, and we have no voltage. Good deal. Voltage would be bad, especially if you grab onto it. You can also test this with your tongue if you like that. I'm not going to do it. When you get this thing, it's going to come with uh, wire nuts and two little screws. They can mount in there. So you don't have to have the ginormous screw I just pulled out. And you take this and you mount it up here. Of course, I want this facing away from me. That way when I'm doing the, uh, the wiring, this thing hangs on it and I can see what I'm doing. It's always good to see what you're doing. Interesting. This may look like they wallered that sucker out right there. Oh, 
Okay, that's awesome. So mine to go back with their big ass screw. Fix it that way. This thing's not very heavy, so I'm just going to put one screw in. Don't frown on me. It'll work. There we go. It's hanging now. It's not really that hot in my house, I, I just, I sweat. Something I, I like to do, I like to sweat. There we go, hang that up there. Untwist the wires. And I'm gonna use their wire nuts they sent me because they're bigger. So black on black. And white on white. Please keep the, the light colors together. It works that better that way. And then there is a ground screw up here. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to ground it right here. Once again, don't frown them. It's only 110. It only hurts a little bit. Okay, push that out. You want to tuck these out of the way. This thing does come with a lot of space underneath it to, to accommodate wiring, but I like to shove it up anyway. Okay, this little screw on the end that I took out I didn't show you, you just screwed that back in. You want to go ahead and turn it on, sweet? Um, oh, wow. yeah, it works. Can you hand me the little it's really bright. It is really bright. We're actually thinking about getting more of these for the garage. Of course, we want a wider light. And this thing, very simple to stick on. You just stick it up there and turn. So if you like this light, go see Home Depot. If you like this video, please subscribe. Wait, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It looks like this. It's down there somewhere. And y'all please take care. Why did by the light? <laughs>